Hello folks, uh, this question is uh, of uh, 2017, October, November, paper 2-1 and the question number is 2. The question says that uh, the variation is time t of the velocity v of the two cars p and q is shown in figure 2.1. So it, has, it shows the variation of velocities of two cars. Uh, one is a car p whose velocity varies from 20 to uh, 24 meter per second in uh, 12 seconds. And another is a car Q whose velocity varies from 0 to 30 in uh, 12 seconds. The cars travel in the same uh, direction along a straight road, of course. The car P passes car Q at time t equal to 0. So uh, the time is counted from that instant uh, when one of the car passes the other one. So in uh, question 8 is that the speed limit for cars on the road is 100 km per hour so still explain where the car q exceeds the speed limit so we have to find uh, the velocity of car q uh, whether it uh, exceeds the speed limit or not so for that we have to take the velocity here the velocity is equal to equal to 30 uh, meter per second and that's equal to uh, 30 by 1000 kilometer by 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 one second means uh, one by 3600 uh, r so it's because it's because what we have is one meter is equal to one by one thousand kilometer and uh, uh, we have one second is equal to one by 3600 r so this comes out to be equal to so let me do the uh, calculations here so it should be 30 into 3600 divided 1000 and this comes to be 108 so it <coughs> so it is 108 a kilometer per hour so that means that means that uh, uh, that uh, uh, car q car q exceeds uh, exceeds the speed limit the speed limit so because 180 is definitely more than 100 now we have to find calculate the acceleration of uh, car p so car p so for that we have to take uh, this uh, uh, reading of this uh, 12 seconds so a is equal to a is equal to uh, slope or gradient of uh, vt graph vt graph uh, and it is should be for p so that's equal to if i go from here to here here to here so at p sorry at uh, uh, 12 second 12 second uh, its the velocity is uh, 20, 20, 20 24 so it is a uh, 24 minus it is 20 20 and that's equal to uh, that's divided by it is 12 seconds minus zero so this should be equal to 24 minus 20 is 4 and this is 12 so the value of a should be equal to 0 0.33 meter per second square 0 0.33 meter per second square so it's 4 divided 12 now in the next question we have determine the distance between the cars between the uh, cars uh at time t equal to 12 seconds so it says that we have to find the distance between them at uh, 12 seconds so that uh, uh, distance between them will be equal to the distance uh, difference in the distance traveled by p and by q so first let us find uh, the distance traveled by p p is equal to <laughs> so area under this uh, this line for p it is in on this line so it should be equal to 1 by 2 into uh, from here to here it is uh, 12 12 into we have this is uh, 20 plus this is 24 24 and the distance covered by q is equal to is equal to 1 by 2 into from here to here it is 12 and uh, uh, here it is it forms a simple triangle so from here to here it is 30 so let's calculate there values here their values so it should be equal to the first thing should be equal to should be equal to we'll have um, this is a six 
uh, this is 44 so 6 into 44 is equal to 264 so the 264 meters and it is a 6 630 is 30 is uh, 180 180 meters so that means the distance traveled by uh, p is greater greater so between them the distance is equal to so d is equal to sp minus sq is equal to 264 minus 180 and that's equal to 264 minus 180 is equal to 84 meters 84 meters so this is 84 meters so one thing that we have to realize is here uh, p has traveled more distance so though the velocity here is less p has got more distance it's because the initial velocity itself was higher in case of q though it has traveled less distance uh, the velocity here is high but it traveled low distance because it is started with a very low velocity here so we have a uh, situation something to discuss about though the velocity is less it could have traveled more distance and though the velocity is high it could have traveled less distance at a particular instant now the last question says that uh, from time t equal to 12 second 12 second uh, the velocity of each car remains constant at its value at t equal to 12 seconds. So uh, the velocity at 12 second was somewhat like this, somewhat like this. Uh, one was 30 and one was 24. And after that, uh, they remain constant. So the 24 remains 24 and 30 remains 30. So determine the time t at which the car q passes car p. So that means after that, uh, car uh, q is having a higher velocity and car p is having less velocity so after some time definitely uh, car q will pass or surpass or overcome car p so let uh, us uh, say that let's say that it is a time the extra time required is something t extra t new after which that happens so at that time at this uh, whole time from here to here the distance traveled by p should be equal to so d p is equal to the initial distance this uh, sp was 264 264 uh, plus the distance traveled within uh, this time is equal to since the velocity is now uniform since it is uniform it should be simply the distance is simply equal to the product of velocity and time so time is t nu and the velocity is 24 so it's equal to 24 into t nu so for q it should be equal to the initial uh, distance was uh, uh, distance was covered was 180 plus the distance now it covers is since it also follows uh, uniform velocity should be equal to velocity into time the velocity is 30 30 and that time is t nu as given in the question so at when uh, at the time when q passes p these two distances should be equal so we should have dp should be equal to dq which will give us uh, 264 plus 24t nu should be equal to 180 plus 30t nu so this goes here and this goes here so we will have we will have uh, 264 minus 180 is equal to 30t nu minus 24t nu which will further give us this minus this is already it is 84 so it is 84 equal to this is a 6 t nu and this gives us this t nu is equal to 84 by 6 equal to 14 seconds so that extra time is 14 seconds so the total time should be equal to total time should be equal to initial it is 12 plus this extra is 14 is equal to 26 seconds so the total time we should have is t should be equal to 26 second seconds